क्वेश्चन इज ए एंड बी कैन डू अ वर्क इन ट्वेल्व एंड एटीन डेज ए स्टार्ट द वर्क एंड दे वर्क फॉर ऑल्टरनेट डेज देन इन हाउ मेनी डेज वर्क कम्प्लीटेड इट इज गिवन दैट ए कैन डू अ वर्क इन ट्वेल्व डेज बी कैन डू द सेम वर्क इन एटीन डेज नाउ लेट्स अज्यूम द टोटल वर्क एंड दैट शुड बी इक्वल टू द एलसीएम ऑफ ट्वेल्व एंड एटीन That is thirty six units. After that, we will find the one day work for A and B. A can do thirty six upon twelve. That is three units per day. And B can do thirty six upon eighteen. That is two units per. It is given that A starts the work and A and B work for alternate days. It means first day A did three units work. Second day B did two units work. Then again third day A did three units work. and fourth day b did two units work and this cycle will keep going on till the time they will achieve the 36 units of work it means a and b does five units work five units work is equivalent to Two days. So, thirty-five units work will be equivalent to fourteen days. As five into seven thirty-five, and two into seven fourteen days. Now, one unit work is remaining. As A and B have to achieve thirty-six units work. and that could be done by a only we know that a can do 3 units per day a will do 1 unit in 1 upon 3 days it means total work will be completed in 14 plus 1 by 3 days so total days will be equal to 14 plus 1 by 3 that is 14 1 by 3 days which is our answer a b and c can do a work in 10 20 and 25 days respectively a works for all time b and c work in alternate days starting with a then in how many days were completed it is given that a can do some work in 10 days b can do the same work in 20 days and c can do in 25 days so now first we will assume the total work and that should be equal to the lcm of 10 20 and 25 that is 100 units now we can find the one day work of a b and c that is a can do 100 upon 10 that is 10 units per day b can do 100 upon 20 that is 5 units per day and c can do 100 upon 25 that is 4 units per day now it is given that a works for all time and b and c works in alternate days starting with a 
so we can say that on first day a and b together will complete 10 plus 5 that is 15 units on second day a and c together will complete 10 plus 4 that is 14 units and this cycle will keep continue till the time 100 units of work will be achieved we can see that they can complete 15 plus 14 units that is 29 units in 2 days or they can do 29 units in 2 days so they will do 29 into 3 that is 87 units in 2 into 3 that is 6 days now remaining work is 100 minus 87 units that is 13 units and this work has to be done by A and B because on 6th day A and C must have done the work now we know that A and B can do 15 units work in one day or A and B can do 15 units in one day so they can do 13 units in 13 upon 15 days so total days required is equal to 6 plus 13 upon 15 or 6 13 upon 15 days that is our answer